Welcome to the Status Report highlight for the 7th of February 2017. And in this Status Report, Brian is talking about known issues and fixes that we're working on now, and Victor is sharing some news from the animation department. As always, let's start things off with creative director Brian Hicks. This status report we're going to cover what the Point .61 live team are focusing on for the stable branch issues. Brian will touch briefly on Point .62, and then he'd like to give a little perspective on the work currently underway for the bulk of the team, beta milestones. Rest assured the development team is well aware of a good deal of critical issues that have popped up on the various builds coming through Experimental Unstable onto Stable Branch. Some of them we're working to address in Point .61 updates, and some of them will more than likely have to wait for Beta Milestone, as we're on the edge of addressing some issues in technology and systems that won't be around in the Beta. The team has been able to make good strides on addressing server crash issues, but we're also tracking a good number of additional issues that have come in through the official feedback tracker. Issues with the central economy, group spawning items and clustering in some areas after extensive persistence uptime. Client-side FPS drops from several causes. Issues tied to animation transitions at time of death. Client-side network freezing in some cases. Remaining issues with vehicles from experimental unstable. Ghost infected. Server performance issues. We're all aware that these issues are critical to everyone playing 0.61 stable and we'd appreciate everyone's patience and participation in utilising the official forums and feedback tracker to better allow us to track these issues down. Hang in there and be patient. As mentioned before, Point .61 hit stable, a majority of the team has switched to work on beta, and some of these issues might not make sense to spend time resolving as we're working on Point .62 and beta milestones now. But we've not given up addressing them for Point .61. If you find any new issues, or have new data, please continue to utilise the official feedback tracker. It might not seem like it helps, but trust me, it does. For Point .62 development, we don't have too much for you in this status report. However, Adam, also known as Sumrak, is working on putting together some tasty information on the Point .62 team's progress on their end for the next status report. Currently, the Point .62 team is working on profiling Cherneris with the new trees, and making adjustments to the forests based upon the data they gather from the profiling tools. There are some additional improvements on the visual fidelity side they are looking into, but I won't ruin any of that, as Adam is looking forward to what he can tell you all in the next status report. It almost goes without saying, but the beta milestone isn't just a matter of plugging a few new things into DayZ. The animation system ties in effectively everything you guys do in DayZ, and the new player as well. Tie into this the goal of total removal of SQF support, the scripting language that DayZ utilises for most every gameplay mechanic, and the team's undertaking starts to closely resemble a skeleton and critical organ transplant. A great deal of work has gone into recreating all of these SQF scripts and mechanics into the new N4 scripting language over the last year or so. But even so, the risk and work that is required to coordinate across the team, ensuring things are functioning as expected, and discovering exactly what impact the total removal of SQF has against the game is a significant amount of work. We're a bit excited and a bit winded at all of this, and understand that it may be frustrating not getting the fixes you all want for Point .61 stable as fast as you like, but rest assured, the work that we're doing in the beta milestone will be worth the struggle of legacy bugs on Point .61. Lastly this week from Hicks in regards to the official feedback tracker, the Bohemia Interactive web team has recently added support for logging in utilising credentials from Facebook and Google accounts for those who might not want to make an additional login just to report issues. We hope this lowers the barrier for some of you that might have data on bugs you're experiencing but have held back on reporting them. I know you're all eagerly awaiting visuals and news from Point .62 and Beta, and no one would love to share the awesome stuff with you more than those of us on the development team. We appreciate all of your patience, passion, and participation in the DayZ Early Access. 2017 should be an awesome year for DayZ, and the road ahead looks like a lot of fun. Now let's move on to lead animator Victor and see what he has to say. In my short update, I would like to share some news from the animation department. We have been playing around with the player character animations a lot recently. One of the latest additions including extra transitions for player, now the character is able to move from stand or crouch, run, walk, sprint, to prone movement fluently. This does not limit the character in any way though. Unlike in the past, if a player decides during the transition he wants to stop, the character will stop nicely immediately. We have created combat animations for the player and are now about to start testing them in-game. We want to find a nice balance between how player looks and how it plays. This is a difficult topic as our game is set in a multiplayer environment, which means we are bound by some limitations that are not present in single-player games. To mention other areas, special interaction animations inside vehicles are being created now. Refining the animations is always in progress. We have revised the aimed movement for rifles, and we will focus on handguns next. We also have received some new weapons from the R-Team, so we're adding the animation sets to those as well. 
And finally from Victor, don't forget you still have some time left to ask animated related questions for our next Q&A video. Head over to the official forums and please ask anything you are curious about regarding Daisy animations. Anything that you want Victor to answer. I'll leave a link in the description below. And that's all for the status report highlight for the 7th of February 2017. I know, I know, no new screenshots of Point Six Two's visual fidelity overhaul. I can't wait either. But not long now, and we'll get to see some juicy screenshots, hopefully in the next status report. As always, I recommend you read the status reports in full for yourselves, for the most amount of information that they hold. All links will be in the description below. If you like the channel and what I do, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you peeps next time.